to add color, um, just select your fabric and scroll down and eventually you do see color. Mine currently doesn't have none, so you just see like my uh, texture map that I uploaded, which was black and white, but maybe I could try to make it red here. You know, maybe I'll make it like a darker red, don't know. Um, you can kind of see it happening over here on the left, but um, yeah, you should be able to add color. That's why I purposely left my displacement map as black and white so that I could, you know, have a little fun with color options um, as well. So say okay. Um, and then maybe for fun, let's see, you know, what this looks like uh, rendered. So let's go up to render. Okay, and I'll click the little circles to kind of readjust it. goes. <laughs> Give it a minute. Okay, cool. Okay, so, um, you know, can you see the difference? To me, this side does feel still really flat, where this side, it does come to life a little bit more with the shading and whatnot. So, um, so that's what the displacement map is supposed to do is just have part of your artwork kind of pop forward a little bit. So that's it.